Today we are going to talk about the Georgian Shepherd Dog, also known as the Georgian Mountain Dog, or Nagazi. This is a big uh, type of dog. And they had uh, this dog in two varieties. One is the lion type, which often has the lighter colors and some dots, sometimes visible, sometimes not, and also short coats so that you see the musculature. The other type is the bear type, and the bear type is a type with a longer coat, often darker colors. The most rare of all is the lion type with a white coat. They also said that the lion type was the most original and oldest type of Georgian Shepherd, Georgian Mountain, Dog or Nagazi, all the same. Uh, but uh, the thing is that these type of dogs are now uh, very rare. And they try to make a different breed even uh, because it's quite illustrious type of dog that is not seen that much anymore. The dogs are big, so males are at least 70 centimeters at the width is female 65. Also the weight is 60 kilograms and plus. And there were quite some uh, debates between Russia about the Caucasian of Yarka. Was the Georgian breed a Russian breed, and with the demise of Russia as we knew it, they start to popularize the Georgian Shepherd Dog, so the Georgian a livestock protector, it has similar traits as the Charkas have, and also the Charkas come in multiple types. We more have, uh, so this uh, would all be. Uh, pieces of the puzzle that are now falling uh, into place. So this type of dog is like an ancient molosser. It is there to defend the livestock, it is there to defend the families and uh, property. Depends on what coat you would like. I would go for the, the shorter coat, the lion type if I could. Because uh, in the Netherlands there is a bigger chance of overheating than undercooling but it could be different where you live also this type of dog is uh, quite healthy many times a, a dog breed that big doesn't live that long whereas Georgian Shepherd dogs often live over 10 years of age in general 10 to 13 years something like that which is exceptional for a big breed like that and also would give you an indication it's still a working breed, which it is still used for protection work. So that would be my first uh, advice. If you're looking for a breed that is still being worked, please search for one that's bred from working stock. Instead of that going for a show variety. Unless you want a dog that looks very cool, but could not perform as well. And it will be the other way around, of course. <laughs> um, the dog on the DC is also a livestock with a few breeds, but different. Uh, this is a hunter dog that goes under air, under earth to uh, catch predators, especially fox and badger. But sometimes it's used above ground as well, depending on the quarry, for example, on the hawk. We more of a or. Uh, also in some cases of raccoon or raccoon dog also in Russia. This type of uh, quarry is hunted. But I don't know if they use the petadil or some other breeds to get to their goal. And the benefit of such a big livestock protection breed is that you have a dog that is uh, still capable and athletic and very uh, uh, good as a defense. Uh, option especially against uh, predators such as wolves. It's these big dogs are known to uh, 
easily overpower a single wolf by their mere strength. And uh, often also coupled by collars, you see here a collar, but even thicker collars and then with spikes or other defensive mechanism attached, which uh, gives them a good chance of defending themselves against the wolves, because if a wolf goes for the throat, which they often do in a confrontational setting with, a dog, with an animal that fights them, they will meet a thick collar with spikes that will not give them the advantage, advantage but uh, will damage them themselves. So that way you could have uh, one Jordan Shepherd fighting off several wolves. But not if there are too many, because then they will just rip open his belly. Which they also do with fleeing animals, as a general tactic. Okay, I hope you liked this video. Uh, please let me know in the comments, or better yet, subscribe. By doing so you can help us uh, make more of these videos. Have a nice day. Oh, one more thing, the, the breed that you see here is a Pathodoterrier, also known as Black Fell Terrier. Bye bye.